gutted, absolutely gutted. We can't live without him, you know, he's gone. We're here today in the Blue City Centre, uh, about half an hour uh, after it was announced that Jurgen Klopp would be leaving Liverpool at the end of the season. Uh, it's safe to say it comes as a massive shock uh, for Liverpool fans and football supporters across the world, really. Uh, Liverpool coming flying high, top of the table, just gone into the League Cup final, uh, competing on all four fronts. Um, so we're out here today. Getting people's reaction to the news, uh, whether they expected it, uh, what they think the future of the club's going to be, and whether they have any names in mind for who could replace Klopp after a hugely successful reign, uh, which starts in 2015, and will come to an end this May. Yeah, about 20 minutes ago. Like, uh, I knew he wouldn't stay forever, but I thought he'd stay for at least another three or four years, hopefully win the league this year. But yeah, devastated. Um, but if he wants to leave, he wants to leave. Mm. You know. But he goes with everyone's best wishes, obviously, but it's uh, a sickener, really, when we're top of the league. Hopefully win four trophies this season, but you know, we'll see what happens. Um, it's going to be a lot on the players now, after hearing this, whether they could, they've got the mental capacity now to go and win the league, go and win the Europa League. It's going to be tough, because everything's just going to be about this now. So, But yeah. The spoke here just said it's a bit like uh, Shankly leaving. Obviously, I wasn't here then, but I've seen the videos of the kids saying, "What? Well, you can't believe he's gone." It's a bit like that, you know. Yeah. Even though he's he's been here what eight years, eight seven years, it's it's really tough to take. But you know, life moves on. No one's bigger than the club. But obviously, he is one of the biggest we've ever had at the club. Um, devastated. My um, my son just texted me about five minutes ago, so just uh, just got online and saw saw the news. So yeah, devastated. He was, um, I think his contract was due to run to the end of 26. Um, but, you know, if, if he says he's running out of energy, he's running out of energy, you've got to trust what he says. And uh, hopefully he can be um, central for us finding his replacement. Obviously, with the history of the club, you know, you've had the whole sort of boot room um, legacy and it'd be great to maintain the approach and the standards that he's brought to the club because they've just changed the way where we operate from top to bottom. So... Be a tough job for somebody, but um, hopefully he can play a role in in in, uh, in you know in finding that, our next replacement. I mean, there'll be some there'll be some names chucked about in the Sabi Alonso, Stevie G will be chucked in the mix, but um, really important we just get the right kind of kind of person and yeah. for the right systems and the right approach. It's just been a complete complete revolution, really, from top to bottom. And the club has just changed the way. It's changed the way we play on the field. It's changed the way the club operates behind the scenes. He's been part of a, a complete change in the way we recruit and bring players through the system. So, yeah, very, very difficult to replace. Just an absolute legend of the of the club. Literally, we'd been inside in the shop, come outside the shop. I got a couple of WhatsApp messages from Ireland. I actually went back into the shop to show, show the security man. They didn't know. Went upstairs to share it with another member of staff who didn't know also. So naturally everybody in the shop was shocked and devastated to hear the news. Given the scope of work that he had when he came in, the promises, if you like, that he made to deliver on a league title inside of maybe four years, he's delivered all of that. He's the, the major competitions that he's had the club involved in. I mean, we'd all like to think that we would and hope it would go on forever. Unfortunately, there's gonna, there, there will be a day when it comes to an end. Sadly, that's now broken. And uh, yeah, it's look the type of person he is. I think everything that he's put in place, everything that the owners have put in place, I think the show will go on. Um, the club will be left in a in a in a healthier position. Um, how do you replace someone like that? Look, naturally, you're going to think, well, if that man goes, who's going to fill his boots? They're going to be huge boots to fill, but my first thought would be Xabi Alonso. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. look, we'll celebrate, I suppose, celebrate him being here for the rest of the year and worry about who comes in after that. I mean, he's been, how long has he been here now? What? Yeah, it's in 2015. Yeah. Yeah. So it's a long time to sustain that kind of thing. So it'll be a real shame because I don't think you, it'll be, difficult to find anybody as good as him because he's built it up quite carefully um, and it would have been great because if we win the league this year I know it'll go out on a high but it'll be a low for a lot of spectators yeah. and fans it'll be a real low out of all the amazing things that have happened uh, since he's been manager what would you say is your favourite moment of the Jurgen Klopp reign so far winning the Champions League it's always got to be it's, that's got to be your main ambition even with Guardiola, it's always about he couldn't win the Champions League and then he, when he won it, you could see that was the biggest thing in his life. And it, 
it's great winning the league, you know, but to be the best team in Europe is something else. Yeah. Gutted, absolutely gutted. We can't live without him, you know, he's gone. Klopp's uh, brought in so many young players this season, that's why it's such a complete shock. We're expecting him to be there for another five, six years at least, you know, but he's gone. So He brought by the spirit of Shankly, reshaped the club. We were flying high, and I think we'll carry on flying high, but without Klopp, so yeah.